Okay, let's try this one. We're going to again focus on even, odd, or neither function. So in order to uh, find out what we have, we need to always start out by replacing x with negative x and see what happens. So if I replace x with negative x here, that means we'll have negative x over negative x squared minus 1. And we'll clean that up. So here we have negative x over when we square a negative x, it just becomes positive x squared minus 1. Now, this is the exact same thing as saying negative x over x squared minus 1. And if you don't believe me, we'll look at regular fractions and make sure. If I had negative 5 over 6, that is the exact same thing as saying 5 over negative 6. Generally, the, though, we don't like to have the negative in the bottom. It's also the exact same thing as saying negative 5 over 6. No matter where the negative is, top, bottom, or out to the side, it still has the exact same meaning. So I'm going to take this negative, and instead of having it up on top, I'm going to pull it out to the front. Now, by doing that, the x over x squared minus 1 is the exact same thing we started with. So that is f of x. But we have the opposite of that. So, and I realize I'm using f instead of h, but it really doesn't matter. They're just interchangeable. So in this case, the f of negative x is exact same thing as the opposite of the original. According to our definition, that makes this an odd function. And again, if you were to graph it, you would see that it has origin symmetry. Okay, let me back back up now, and I want to work on this last problem here. Here we have h of x. I'm going to change that to f just for our purposes here. f of x equals 3x cubed plus 5. Well, again, in order to test this, we always want to replace x with negative x and see what happens. So now that would be 3 times negative x cubed plus 5. When we simplify it, cubing a negative makes it stay negative. So that would be minus 3x cubed plus 5. Now this is not the exact same thing that we started with up here. Our signs are wrong. If we were to pull that negative out the front, then we would have negative 3x squared minus 5. Well, again, it's not the exact opposite of what we started with, so this is neither. It's actually neither even nor odd.